Hello everyone again. This is part four of our solar trough solar water heater videos. Um, thanks to our new friend Dwayne Johnson who has told us that we need to orient our collector 90 degrees opposite of what we have. Thank you so much Dwayne. This is now going to be east and west and we're going to rotate the entire frame with the sun during the day and the trough is going to rotate for the seasons. And let me explain why. The troughs, they can only rotate plus or minus 60. The frame, it can rotate all the way over plus and minus 90. So if this is the sunrise, we can rotate the frame all the way and get the sun at the sunrise. And that, so that, instead of just from 60 to, or 30 up to noon, we can go completely from zero up to noon. That's a 50% increase. So this would be the collector at, at sunrise pointing in here. And then this would, this is going to be the collector at noon, straight up in the air. And then at sunset, we, we can rotate the frame all the way over and get the complete sun at sunset. Like I said, a 50% increase in sun exposure. Thank you very much, Dwayne Johnson. Okay, so then this would be this would be the collector at noon in the summer with the trough straight up. And uh, in the wintertime, if that was the south, we'll rotate the, sap, the trough with the winter. Now this can go 0 to 60. So here in, in Austin, uh, it's 0 to 57. Okay, we'll show you real quickly. Here's the George Plack modified collector with the Granger and our little uh, all thread. Moving the torque out here to this will tilt the uh, troughs for the for the seasons and finally here is our little chain drive we'll have a chain in this uh, pulley here and it'll come down to a motor drive and you can see the thing is balanced well it can have no trouble tri uh, tilting the frame this is Andrew Gray part four thank you